everyone. Paul Ferguson here with Richard Beaupre. Welcome once again to action from the Olympics. Ice hockey is the name of the game. The Canadians against the Slovaks. And what a game this promises to be. Both teams are unbeaten. The Canadians beating the Italians 7-2 over the French 3-1. And in the last minute, the Americans drew with the Canadians 3-3. The Slovaks unbeaten but with two draws, 4-4 against the Swedes, 3-3 against the Americans, and then they beat the Italians 10-4. The Slovaks were very impressive in their first two games of this Olympic tournament. A tough draw with the Swedes and another tough one against the Americans. The Americans having to come back late in that one. The Slovakians really putting it together and hammering the Italians. This should be a good close contest. The Slovaks are a good skating team. They've got some big hitters on the defense like Jurgis Bacha and the Canadians have had good goaltending from Hirsch and they've got multi-talented forwards who not only can be physical but they're quick up front. That seems to be the key right now for the Canadians. Korea, Joseph, Lushko, Savage is very fast, Johnson is fast and even the defenseman for a change, Astley really moving the puck around it nicely along with Warenka. These guys can motor, they're mobile, they're physical and they've got good shots. Let's take a look at the Slovaks now. Hartman in goal, he's been impressive. Bacha with that NHL experience on the D along with Smirchak, Marchenko, Sakarish, familiar names. Some of them played with the, uh, uh, the national team of Czechoslovakia a while ago. Up front, Otto Hasak really has to be the man of the tournament so far for us. He really has looked good. Janos is starting to pull his game together. He's only a youngster, but he's getting inspiration from Stasny. Stasny, what can you say? Over a thousand games in the National Hockey League, played with the Canadian national team in the Canada Cup, the Czechoslovakian, uh, Czechoslovakian national team in the World Championships, and now he's back home where he says he belongs, playing with the Slovaks. Stasny has made the comment that his four kids might be in New Jersey watching the hockey games. His wife is in Lillehammer with him, but Peter Stasny says the kids are Canadian born, but I do feel positive they're supporting daddy and hoping that we'll beat the Canadian team in this game today. It's an important one. He's been an instrumental leader for the Slovakian team and was showing just how proud to be Slovakian that he is by carrying the flag in the opening ceremony. Getting set now for the Canadians and the Slovaks to get this one underway. The referee is from Finland, and uh, as far as officiating has been concerned, I think it's been good. We have no gripes so far. No, we do not have any gripes. The Americans and Canadians both, uh, it seems as though we've had more contact with North American counterparts. Their comments have been that the one thing they do notice is that European officials are much quicker to call things like penalty shots or things like the holding of the stick a lot faster than NHL or North American referees have been doing that. So what they've said is the name of the game is discipline and they know that they've got to stay away from that sort of thing or they will be quickly called. This is day eight on day seven. The Germans came up with a great result against the Russians beating them four to two. The Finns over the Austrians, 6-2, and the Czech Republic downing the Norwegians, 4-1. Uh, the tables, well, the Finns we know are top in the table, and it looks like they're going to stay there. They really do look impressive. Four wins from four games. They've scored 18 goals, and they've only allowed three. That's very impressive. Defensively, they have been so solid, and they just do not seem to be breaking down at all in their play. The Czech Republic have got six points from their first four games. The Germans with six points as well. The difference being that the Czechs slipped by the Germans, that being the only blemish on the German record right now. The Russians are two wins, two losses for four points. The Norwegians, they've been shut out from having a win in their first four games. The Austrians also without a win in four games. The team's now getting set to come out with the mascots. Um, and as we said, we're expecting a powerful performance from both teams. The whole idea is here, you have two groups, A and B. A has six teams, B has six teams. The top four in each group qualify. The number one team in A will play off against the number four team in B. Two will play three and so on. They crisscross over. 
And then they work down to the final couple of days for gold, silver, and bronze. We're taking a look now at the official Slovak lineup. And uh, the Slovaks really have been gathering the points out there. Individually as well, Paul. They're right up in the scoring charts. Young Palfi, take a look at him in this game. Number 68, he's one to watch after three games. Two goals, four assists, six points leading the charts. Stasny right behind him, four goals and an assist for five points. And Young Satan, number 18, watch this guy go. In three games, he's got four goals for four points. He's been very impressive. For the Canadians, Peter Nedved, number 93, with three after three games, three goals and one assist. He's chopping the Canadians with four points. Todd Lushko close behind him, three goals from three games, giving him three points. And Norris, the first Newfie, or Newfoundlander, we'll call him to be more polite, to be on the Canadian Olympic team since Harry Watson in 1924. Norris with three goals after three get two goals, one assist after three games for three points for himself as well. Corey Hirsch, New York Rangers property in goal. Harlock, Mayer, Eve Waugh, Johnson, and Schreiber are the starting six. Loveson, Rad Warenka, we've spoken about him. This guy has really been impressive on the D. That's right, Warenka has played solidly. We've mentioned the guys with the legs, the speed, the guys that are great to watch. Three players that deserve a lot of credit on the Canadian team are Paul Correa, who does get quite a bit of media, but the other two guys sit back in the shadows and really are the playmakers in the heart and soul of this club, one being Wally Schreiber in my eyes, and the other one is number 22, Greg Parks. 5'9", 180 pounds. Watch him, though. He's all over the ice, and he really sets plays up nicely. You mentioned uh, Paul Correa. He's only 19 years old. He's already been on a NCAA championship team with the University of Maine. He was voted the best college hockey player the first time ever a freshman got the Hobie Baker Award. He then went on to be drafted first pick by the Anaheim Mighty Ducks and then played with the Canadian national team in the World Championships in Germany. What's left for this guy? He says he wants to win a gold medal, of course, and then he wants to go on and play in the National Hockey League. But not bad for a 19-year-old. Not at all. Sean Walsh at uh, University of Maine would certainly like to have him back to help the Black Bears at the University of Maine go for another National Collegiate Championship. But on the other hand, the Anaheim Mighty Ducks are just out of the playoff picture at present in the NHL, and he could probably help them out as well. A lot of players will immediately get on a plane or their planes after this competition and go right to the National Hockey League. We're taking a look at uh, Corey Hirsch, the number one goaltender for Canada, 21 years old, American Hockey League Player of the Year last year. And as I said, at the other end of the year, uh, rink, it's 28-year-old Ed Hartman. Hartman performed well and was one of the reasons the Slovaks are here. They competed in a qualifying tournament in Sheffield in August and September and uh, defeated the Latvians, the Poles, the Japanese, and the British to qualify for this tournament. An excellent crowd here in Lillehammer, as you would expect for a game of this caliber. So the Slovaks playing from right to left start with Stasny Johnson for the Canadians. Stasny really has been playing some great hockey. That comes all the way back to Marchenko. Marchenko works it over to Bacha. Bacha with his first touch brings it out on the right side. Long pass right up the middle gunning for Stasny. The Canadians tap it away. Raw couldn't reach that. Johnson dropped it back. Mayer for the Canadians. Hits the red and then just flips it over the blue. Stasny. Dano, rather. Palfi. High shot. Bacha on the near side. Bacha with Marchenko. And you can see the players already standing up on the bench looking for that quick change. They go about 30, 40 seconds. Stasny. Stasny, the tap forward. Palfi. 
Couldn't grab that one down, and the first whistle blows for Icing. Julius Suppler, the man in the middle, is the Slovak coach, and he is definitely happy with what he's seen so far. These guys came in as also Rands or players that would probably qualify but not do anything very serious out there, but they're staying with the big boys. The Slovaks got their confidence booster right after their first game, going 4-4 with Sweden. That was a great game, enjoyed by everybody. The Swedes favored for gold medal. A tap up on the boards, that comes right out front, the Canadians, they score! Oh, that one made in Korea, as they say. Canadians strike first. The crowd just getting settled with their popcorn and a beer, possibly. Watch the red shirts take control, broken play. Contos in front of the goal, the goaltender Hartman way out of his net, Korea walks around everybody, makes it look easy, Paul Korea shifts to the backhand, Hartman has committed himself, Contos standing in front of the goal, watches Paul Korea get the Canadians on the board first. 106 the time of the goal, excellent start for the Canadians, Svela chases that deep into his own zone. The shadow out front as Svela looking to find Janos. Svela getting pressure there from Korea. Janos deep in his own zone, drops it off. Smerciak, a long pass up on the wing. That's intercepted. What's happening to the Slovaks? And Korea seems to be reading their minds. Some good stuff now in, in the neutral zone, but as soon as the Slovaks hit the blue line, they throw themselves offside. A change of personnel for both teams. Good first shift for Paul Correa, Peter Nedved, and Chris Kontos all over the Slovakians, giving them a lot of trouble in their own end of the ice. Quick look at the goal again. Hartman is well and truly out of the picture. From the face-off, that dribbles over the red, and Bacha pumps it in. One nil the score, Warenka taken off the puck, that comes back to the blue, big shot! Hirsch well out of his net, Smerchak got a piece of it, Warenka for Canada. Pass up on the hash marks and the Canadians now breaking quickly. One, two, three players going in quickly, right in front, Norris trying to get the tip. Warner set him up nicely, Batcher coming back on the left wing. Batcher's big, he's got a great shot. He throws it out front and Norris has it. Norris taps it up through the neutral ice zone and the Canadians certainly seem to be flying in the opening seconds of this one. Good save, Palfi let it fly and Hirsch came up with a glove hand. Slovaks changing on the fly. Peter Stasny and Zygmunt Palfi getting out onto the ice quickly. Stasny putting the puck forward. Palfi letting it rip. A good save by Hirsch. Well, Hirsch may have a problem or two penetrating that New York Ranger lineup with Healy and Richter there, but uh, he's certainly the number one boy for Canada. Hirsch going into the Ranger training camp. A lot of people were watching, and then when Glenn Healy was brought in, possibly a little bit of a confidence demotivator if you can call it that ending up in the AHL but having a great season for himself loose puck there and Hirsch went down Kolnick came sweeping by and tried to put the stick on it and just couldn't tap that puck underneath the goaltender Face off again in Canadian territory. 2.34 gone in the first period. A little tip back by Nedved. Nedved very adept at getting the draw. Schlegel taps it forward and the Canadians come back on the attack. 
Nedved spun around. Getting in there quickly was 22, Konsek. Konsek who's playing some good hockey defensively and offensively. Traps that along the boards and sends it deep into Canadian territory. Coming up to the first three-minute mark of the period. Nedved right over Korea. Fanned on the shot. Hossack right in front and the Slovaks get it out in a hurry. Verhalik tapped it up. Hirsch will leave this one behind the red. Schlegel getting away from Hossack. Astley is there too. And the Canadians now, Korea trying to get out of their own zone. Astley will take over the puck carrying duties for a moment anyway. Nedved. Nedved, the Czechoslovakian born Canadian. Great move by him. Nedved throws it right in front and Kontos was there. Kontos takes a swipe at it. Korea looking for Nedved. This line is causing the Slovaks all sorts of problems out there. I like the way all three of those forwards will go back deep and help the defenseman break out. Nedved going around the net, Korea dropping down low in the corners. It makes it a lot easier for the Canadians. Petrovicki now, good move by Petrovicki. He falls down at 3.56 of the first period. The Finnish referee works his way to the timekeeper's box. Slovak's on the move. Petrovici thinks he's around the Canadians, loses his footing on the play, goes down, the whistle blowing very quickly after that. Derek Meyer not really arguing, going to the box for tripping, but personally I'd like to know who he tripped. Meyer was facing the other way. I missed that one. I would have given the guy that Sharp and Petrovici skates the penalty on that play. Exactly. Nevertheless, power play. Smerchak taps it in, and the Canadians with Harlock shooting it all the way down the ice. Canada with a man in the box. Penalty killing almost 90%. That's banged away. Smerchak again hits the blue on this one. Pushed away up to Svela. Svela works his way into the slot. That was nice. Petrovici goes right in. Just could not bang it home. Good run down the ice by Petrovici a couple times. Having goal scoring opportunities already. He's, he's a guy to watch out for. He'll shoot the puck anywhere on the ice. Smerchak throws that over. Janos. Janos has impressed. The long pass on the wing. Svela couldn't get that. Schlegel grabs it, rattles it off the woodwork, and that goes the distance. Hartman will release that along the boards. Not a great clearance by him. Joseph going in. One of his specialities is to kill off penalties. Dano now on the far side. Stasny moves in a position. The Canadians golf it right back on the doorstep. Baccia. Hits the blue. 29 seconds on the power play. Palfi coming in. His pass over does not work. Stasny was gunning, so was Dano. Hartman well out to the top of the circle. Gives it to Baccia. Baccia clears it up on the wing. And again, a sloppy pass. That goes the distance. Icing is the call. As the Slovakians come into the Canadian zone, the Canadians are doing a good job of closing it right in. Palfi, who's been used to having quite a bit of skating room in the first few games for the Slovakians, is finding himself in quite a bit of traffic. Five forty-one gone on the first period. One nil. The Canadians with a goal by number nine, Paul Korea. Stasny gets set for the face-off deep in Slovak territory. Nedved is asked to leave. Korea moves in. Just 15 seconds on the power play. Baccia behind his own line. Time ticking down on the power play. Medrick takes a poke at center, tries to feed it through Stasny, and that doesn't work. Stasny from Palfi. Warenka, the Canadians are back at full strength. Marchinko 
being shadowed by Contos. And the Canadians not letting the Slovaks settle here in the early stages. Another long pass goes the distance. Dano goes after it. Schlegel takes him out. Canada back on the attack. The pass up over the red. And Korea couldn't hang on to that. Korea looking for a change out there as some good stuff comes from Marchenko. 6.34 gone on the period. All the way down the ice, another icing call. Nedved having a couple of good shifts out there with Contos and Korea. Nedved going to the bench and having harassed him, Contos and Correa have got such a great understanding of where each other are on the ice at all times. This line has been fun to watch. Barholic can't get the stick on it and that comes back to 14. Brian Savage. A break right in front and uh, Hossack was without a stick. Konsak moves in now to Shadow along with number 28, Kolnick. The two of them are double teaming and the Canadians struggle now to get out of their zone. Meyer on the near side. Meyer hits the blue, hits the red, flips it high. Verholic bats it down whether he wanted to or not. Sakaris starts right in front of his own net and Joseph stays on his back. Excellent uh, checking out there from both teams. Verholic, a rink wide pass. Joseph puts the shoulder into Otto Hasak. Norris. Loveson along the board, still with Loveson. Loveson turning Verholic inside out, so a couple of good moves, and then he slips it to the far side. Johnson drops it back into the corner. The Canadians starting to impress. Schreiber, who plays his hockey in Germany now, working hard in the corners. Referee taking a pose for Animal Crackers there as he had made a call, but slow to move away from the boards. Sakarish is going to make his way to the box for tripping. Schreiber doing the work in tight along the corners, trying to get away. The skate comes out from Sakarish. Schreiber goes over. The referee is right on the play. 7.50, the time of the penalty to Sakarish. Two minutes for tripping. And a power play situation now for the Canadians. Reverse angle. And the officials clamping down on everything that moves out there. Two for 17 on the power play for the Canadians. Petrovici gets it back in the corner. Svela rockets that one down the ice. Astley at the eight minute mark. Astley moving up on the right side. Still with Astley, the backhander right in front. Hartman watched that all the way. The Canadians keep it in, and now that Smerchak picks it up. Smerchak with Satin. Smerchak just takes as long as he possibly can to kill this one up. Warenka for Canada. Petrovicki does the, does the shadow. Korea moves up quickly. Korea feeds it up into the corner to Nedved. Nedved off the backboards. All the way back to the blue. Astley's got the good shot right on the blue line. Satin got the stick on it, and that's pumped out into neutralized territory. Korea, Contos. Contos drops it back. Not a great pass, and the Canadians now go back on the defensive with Svela moving up. Svela taps it through. Hasak couldn't control it. Canada back on the attack. Warenka threading the eye of the needle. Contos took the shot. Batcha got in front of it. Another swipe, and the Canadians pick it up with Nedved throwing it behind the goal. Korea take, taken out of the play, and Schlegel couldn't trap that one down. The Canadians are not being allowed to set it up. The Slovakians are making the ice surface look small. They're skating hard, and they're forcing the Canadians all over the place. Parks drops it back, and the Canadians with Schlegel. Schlegel, long clearance into the zone. Should be trapped at the far side, but it's not. Jean-Yves Wah. 18 seconds on the power play. Canadians unable to get going here. Coming in quickly is Johnson. Johnson rattles it off the boards to the far side. All the way back to the blue. 
Schreiber calling for it, shot from a sharp angle, another one comes in, Wall got a piece of it and that deflected away. And the Slovaks kill off the penalty to Sakarish. Sakarish quickly back on the ice. The Slovakians with an excellent job of penalty killing will now try and get this tying goal. Waugh comes in. Waugh from a sharp angle. Sakarish behind his own goal with Bacha. A long clearance. And that goes down to Harlock. And the Canadians throwing the puck out of the zone. And the Slovaks with Otto Hasak. Hasak starts up. This guy, along with Stasny, really has led this team to where they are today. Harlock drops it back. Mayer tips it along the boards to the hash marks. The Canadians get it out of their own zone quickly. Two on the red. A big hit there on Joseph. Savage picks it up and the whistle blows. A fast start for both teams. The Canadians leading it 1-0, but uh, the Slovaks certainly are not overawed or over-impressed by this Canadian team. The Slovakian team are not underdogs to anybody. They have proven that they can play hockey with the best. I really do like this team. I guess the only thing that they lack perhaps is depth. Uh, they would love to have Anton Stasny, as we've said in the past. He's out through suspension. Seeger is there. Bondra, or Seeger is not there. And Bondra is not there either. So these three players could mean all the difference between, well, I was going to say bronze and gold, but perhaps not even being in the final medal round and getting a medal. Johnson. Johnson is quick. Hits the blue, hits the red, comes up to the blue now tipped away from his stick where Hollick got the woodwork in there and that's tapped up on the boards left wing start up for Hasak Hasak through Kolnick little tip Hasak back in there Kolnick right in front in the crease and the Canadians under pressure dropped in by Konsek Kolnick is there to pick it up Hasak now working with Konsek Konsek back at the blue taps it through to Hasak Hasak back to the blue line and the return pass was not a good one the Canadians started up again Warenka Drops it over. A tip away there as Warner Schreiber tried to get it, rather. And the Canadians go for a change. Long shot on Hirsch. Keeps the pads together. That deflects all the way out. And Smerchak threw it across. Coming in is Lushko. Lushko to the high slot area with eight minutes remaining on the period and Janos gets it, Satin slams on the brakes to keep himself on side. Zvela with Petrovicki on the far side. Zvela pumps it in, Petrovicki works behind the net to get it out front and then he's dumped on his backside. Petrovicki, right beside the net, Hirsch moved over. Some good stuff as Satin was right in front. Zvela couldn't trap it down on the blue. Slovaks picking up their game. The Canadians go on the defensive. Good work from Petrovicki. The Slovaks had an opening on the short side for a split second. That didn't come off, and the Canadians were very quick to get three men back around the front of the goal. Smerchak on the left wing. Tees it up. Big shot upstairs. Hirsch for Harlock. Satin goes in quickly. The Canadians with that quick break. Young legs working hard. Nedved, backhander goes upstairs and hits Smerchak high. Another one right out front. A one-timer comes in. Korea got a piece of that. And the Slovaks changing on the fly with Petrovicki squeezed out of the play. Meyer on the near side. Hits the blue. The Canadians trying to give the one touches out there. Petrovicki drops it. He'll try to get a change if he can. Bacha. Bacha, rink-wide pass. Good stuff. Stasny slams on the brakes, gets it right through. The Canadians are there. Little tip up the middle. That's a two-liner. The idea was right. I took the words out of my mouth, Paul. The idea was definitely right. Korea was off to the races, but well ahead of the play. We know that we have a a lot of new viewers to ice hockey out there and just in case you're wondering what that was all about the pass originated on the Canadian side of the blue line was picked up with a man on the Slovak side of the red line that's not allowed it's a two-line pass the whistle blows face off inside the Canadian zone Warenka rink wide pass 
Canada with Loveson back to Arenka. Off the boards, Canada now. Savage on the go. Savage up against Marchenko. Savage trying to get it to Norris. That didn't work. Slovaks love to throw that puck rink wide. Stasny, good move to get away from Savage. Bacha can't hang on to it. Norris is out there. Savage now got it from Norris. Savage with the shot. That took a deflection. That kind of hurt Marchinko. Bacha likes to move up on the wing. Works well in side the corners with Stasny there. Bacha right behind a little pushing and shoving. Lushko now turns around and sees the mean towering body of Bacha and decides, whoa, let's go for a change. Well, Lushko started it out right. The noble thing to do there is to push the diplomat. He went after Stasny first to keep him away from Corey Hirsch. But when he turned around, he saw the bearded face of Bacha. He's not only not the greatest looking guy in the world, but he's a bit physical. He's played very tough. A Hartford draft playing his hockey in Milwaukee in the International League right now. Bacha knows how to throw the body around. Less than six minutes on the first period. Still 1-0. The Canadians with that lead. Excellent atmosphere here in the Hacken Hall. Johnson being told to get out. Waugh steps in for Canada. Waugh with words on the wing. And he moves out. All the way back to Varholic. Big shot coming in. Tipped away high. Varholic so quick to get that over. Familiar face of Victor Tikhanov. His team will be in the final four, but they're not the team of the old days. He's checking out the competition. Victor in the casual dress today. You normally see him with the old wool jacket and the shirt and tie on. Looks pretty cool in the crowd. I wonder if he likes what he sees down there. The Slovaks come out of the zone to avoid the offside. Schreiber is there. Schreiber up to Schlegel. Schlegel, a little tap along the boards. Not a great clearance by the Slovaks. Schreiber brings it in. Offside is the call. Wally Schreiber with a little smile. Another look into the crowd. We see Coach Tim Taylor from the American team having a good look. Doesn't normally change his expression very often either. Everybody likes to convict Victor Tikhanov of being the missing face from Mount Rushmore. Well, Taylor's another guy who keeps everything to himself, much like the Canadian coach, Tom Rennie. We've got the Finnish coach, coach here too, so they're all eyeing the opposition as you would expect. Schlegel to the far side. Astley fans on the clearance. Petrovicki is there. This could be dangerous. Hasak looking for support. Shakaris tried to bat it down, and that came to Hirsch's doorstep, and now an opportunity for the Canadians. Astley coming in from a sharp angle right in front. Korea just couldn't get the wood on it. Coming back now is Konsek. Konsek drops it over. Konsek looking for the return pass and some good defensive stuff from Canada. Korea for Canada. Works in on the wrong wing. Korea has Kontos right in front. Smerchak got a piece of that. Kontos takes a hit behind the net with Nedved on the far corner calling for the puck. Satin slams on the brakes again on the blue. Svela got a piece of that right in front. Still not out of harm's way as far as the Canadians are concerned. And now they break. Pass right up the middle. A two-on-one situation. Korea got it over. Joseph is there. Big hit on him. And that went off Smirchak's skate. Harlock throws it into neutralized territory. And the Slovaks pick it up. Long shot. Both teams going for a change. Satin can't get a handle on that. Smerchak deflects it away, and Satin is there to collect. Intended receiver on that pass by Satin was Petrovicki. Canadians now with their change. Throw it up. Lushko goes in. Lushko grabbed by Satin. Janos wants it on this side. Lushko stays with it. Joseph is there too. The Canadians. Back on the defensive, Petrovicki steams up the left, breaks in the middle. Petrovicki, one too many moves. Lushko, a great move to get it to Parks, who had a great defensive move of on a goal. Petrovicki back on the attack, and Warenka taps it down. Excellent stuff from both teams breaking these plays up before they really get started. 
forwards getting back on the D. That's nice to see. This game is being played at an incredible pace. It's getting faster as the period goes on. Quick look at Wally Schreiber back on the out onto the ice. The Canadians are using a few more bodies though than the Slovaks are. It could take a toll later in the game. Schreiber, one of the key playmakers on the side, plays his hockey in Munich alongside Dieter Hagen, the star for the German national team. Stasny to Palfi, Bacha. This is the big line for, with Dano out there, the big line for the Slovaks. The shot was wide of the target. Harlock ties his man up. Stasny took a rough ride in the circle. Norris taps it over into neutralized territory. Savage is there. Savage gets it right in front. Hartman steers it away. Still not out with Mayer pumping it back in. Norris now a give and go behind the net. Less than three minutes on the period. Bouncing puck right in front and Schreiber took a swipe at it. Norris moves in quickly. Long pass up the middle. And the Slovaks coming in. Score! Dano was there. The big line. Dano, Pelfi and Stasny connect finally for Slovakia. Great play set up by the Slovakians. Josef Dano having the final save, but some good pass work, and the Slovaks are right back on the board. The long pass ahead, just inside center ice. Dano picks it up. He's gone. Derek Meyer trying to get back on, and he isn't going to be quick enough. Number 29, Dano getting Slovakia on the board. Seventeen thirteen, the time of the goal here in the first period to level it. And this is building as we anticipated. Some good stuff from both teams. Good vision from way back on in the Slovak zone. Schlegel drops it back and the Canadian Zasli tips it as far as the Slovak blue line. Verhalik tried to trap it in. Nedved off the side of the net. Korea trying to get it to Kontos. That ricochets and the Canadians buzzing all around that net. Long pass up. Verhalik couldn't trap it down. Schlegel. Schlegel being shadowed. Kolnick stays on him. Astley. Nedved. Hasak out front. Astley off the boards. Pass is not a good one. Verhalik tips it in. Kolnick picked it up and the offside whistle blows. A look at Dano once again going to the goal, beating Corey Hirsch. It's always tough when you get those breakaways and you're around defensemen and they start taking hacks and whacks at you. Dano on the bench asking the trainer to count his teeth for him. He thinks he knows how many he came into the rink with before the game. But he doesn't know how many he's got now, that's for sure. A little dipsy doodle there and Nedved drops it all the way back to the blue. High floating pass onto the wing. Lovson tried to get in there. Schreiber goes in to forecheck and the Canadians with six. Ken Lovson having problems. Petrovicki, Petrovicki on the puck. Uh, Lovson staying with Petrovicki. Janos now delivers it back. Wa takes him out of the play. Bouncing puck in front is gloved away, and that comes all the way out to the blue line. No whistle because the Canadian didn't touch it. Tap into the corner. Warenka goes deep for Canada. A good spell here for the Slovaks as they apply the pressure. The long clearance could be an offside if the Canadians touch it. Svela in the final minute of play hits his own blue line his pass is intercepted and Stasny picks it up off the bounce Smerchak to the far side Zvela puts it behind the net 29 Dano is out there again Dano breaks up on the right side Joseph stays with him the backhand pass Palfi is in the corner Palfi tries to bring it through the Canadians looking to get it out of the zone as Marchinko fans on it. Canada now breaking quickly, getting back is Dano. And Canada can't get it over the line. Marchinko, a little pass out. Batches there. Big shot goes upstairs off the plexi. 
along the boards. The Canadians again struggle to get it out of the zone. Right in front, Hirsch made the save. Another shot goes in. Hirsch goes down. The puck is loose. And the Canadians swinging at it. And Astley gets it out over the blue. And Marchenko peppers it right back in with five seconds on the period. Big finish by the Slovaks. There goes the buzzer. And the Canadians know they're in a hockey game. The Canadians were struggling badly to try and clear the zone. Svela and Bacha holding the blue line like stone walls. And it's Dano and Palfi up front who are just buzzing all over the place. The Canadians don't know where the puck is. Stasny's just camped out like usual at the other side of the goal. Luckily for the Canadians, it doesn't, the puck doesn't work its way over there. And they escape right at the end of this period. Confirmation of the score then, one goal apiece. Korea at 106 and Dano at 17-13. We're gonna take a break now, stay with us. We've got more live action coming up in a minute. Welcome back, Paul Ferguson here with Richard Beaupre, the start of the second period. We're live on Eurosport, Canada against Slovakia. One goal apiece and what a fast period it was. The Canadians struck first with Korea, and then right near the end of the period, Dano came up with a big one on a breakaway. Everything we could hope for from a hockey game on a Saturday afternoon here at the Olympics. The last three or four minutes of the period, the Slovakians putting all kinds of pressure on the Canadians. Brad Schlegel getting a high sticking penalty right at the 20 minute buzzer. He will be sitting in the penalty box for two minutes from the start of this period. Both coaches, Tom Rennie and Julius Suppler, have prepared their teams well for this one. The Slovaks want the points to move higher up the table, as we said at the start of this program. The team at the top of the table plays the fourth place team in the next groups, and they cross over. The top four in each group of six qualify. And you really want to be as high up as possible. Hirsch goes through the stretching exercises, as does Hartman at the other end of the rink. And everybody looks set for this one. Schlegel getting comfortable in the penalty box. Shots on goal in the first period, favoring the Slovakians 10-4. Palfi taking the high stick, as you can see there, right at the 20-minute mark. The Slovakians with a two-minute power play. The Slovaks drop it back. And they'll start it up now. Bacha on the left wing. A high tip along the plexi. The Canadians set up the box. Marchinko taps it in. Loveson to the far side, going up against Dano. Johnson gets the stick in there and tips it around the boards, and the Canadians under pressure. Palfi flips it all the way back in. Stasny with Palfi. Palfi, an excellent player, learning every day from Stasny. Big shot from Bacha, and that trickles away from Hirsch after the whistle blows. Hirsch coming up big yet again. Hirsch stunned on the shot. Well, it's a statue as he comes in back after the shot and gone out of the play. Shot hitting Hirsch high. That hurts. It goes upstairs on the netting over the plexi, but Hirsch dropping like a ton of bricks. Watch him go back. And that puck comes right down and almost into the goal. Exactly what a goal he wants. He's flat on his back. The puck comes right back to him. Canadians rattle that around the boards and get it out. Bacha, who released a big shot a moment ago, taps it up to Dano. Dano, a backhand pass to Stasny. Stasny from his own circle hits the blue, traps up to the red, throws it on the wing. Palfi now. Palfi with Dano and Stasny back to Bacha. Bacha through to Palfi. Palfi. Stasny tips it high. 
couple of sticks in there, and Bacek just can't control that at the blue line. Right in front of Hirsch, a lot of traffic moving. Several sticks tipping that away. 40 seconds on the power play. Norris goes after his man. And Bacha yet again with a long shift out there. His pass goes up, and Mayer for Canada goes back deep. Along the boards, Palfi raced up. He didn't have to get it. Now the pass comes his way. The backhander goes off a uh, stick, or a leg rather, and bounces kindly for Palfi. Big shot comes in. Another deflection by the Canadian defense, and they start to bring it out slowly. Canada with Norris. Good pass up on the wing. Meyer shot on goal, and... Eight seconds on the power plate. The Canadians getting some of their own back here in the second period. Frankel getting set to come out of the box. Canadians doing a good job of blocking the shots. And Calvin has been getting a good scoring opportunity or even having a better end. One one still the score. Here in Hacken Hall and Little Hammer, an excellent crowd watching these two top teams go at it and fight for high positions on the table. Eight seconds on the penalty to Schlegel. Nedbeth against Hasak. Hasak wins the draw, gets it back. Three seconds now. The Canadians have killed this off. Schlegel steps back on the ice. Canada with Nedbeth circling at his own blue. Canada. Going back on the D, Loveson tries to bring it through now, eventually hits Contos. Contos right in front. Good pass. And the Canadians working hard to get back on the score sheet. Hasak got it over, tipped through, and look at this. Four Canadians hitting the red line. Korea, Korea, nice pass through. Shakaris is there to try to get the stick on it. Hasak the other way. Hasak waiting for support. He's all alone up there. Now we get some work from Konsek. Asley staying on him. Dano moves in quickly as everyone falls down and holding is the call. Mark Asley not very impressed with this call by the referee. Asley given the task of trying to get Asak off the puck as he came up the blue line. Asak is so strong. Leaning and muscling against oh, Mark Asley. Asley holds him down. He'll go to the box for holding as he sits there. 44 going in the second period. The Canadians are going to have a short man again. Face off deep in Canadian territory. Four for 19 on the power play for the Slovaks. 90% for the Canadians when it comes to killing them off. Mayer. Taps it along the boards. That's not out. Back to Svela. Svela tips it forward to Petrovicki. The pass into the corner. Petrovicki fanned on that. Got it back to Svela. Now he goes for the corner and gets it. Looks for a give and go. Svela fans on the shot. The Canadians with a chance to break and they do. Coming back late is Johnson. Johnson against Svela. Good move. Shot. Upstairs. This is Annette. And Janos picks it up. Oh, Johnson turning Svela inside out on that one. Great first of feed by Johnson. A couple of beautiful moves. From the hash marks, back to Spella. Into Janos. Petrovici is cruising in the corner. Janos fakes the first shot, gives it back to Spella. This time he gets the shot away. Oh, much better second effort. forcing the shot or the pass, takes his time, delivers it back. That one is sent like a rocket off the stick of Spella. I would have to say to Corey Hirsch's defense, he probably was screened on the play. Canadian stiffening up right in front of him. A lot of traffic in front of that net, that's for sure. Two to one now the score here in the second period. 327, the time of the goal, as we said, and Stasny goes up against Parks. Palfi flips it over, and Marchinko wraps it to the far side of the rink. Return pass, and the Slovaks building as they go through this second period. Slovakia coming back on the attack. Bacha, long shot, and wide of the target. Astley is there. Astley moves. And gives it right to Palfi. Palfi tries to get it out front. Stasny's there. Palfi in the 
short side. Still not away, and Palfi is grabbed and spun around by Schlegel. The Canadians bring it back up the ice. Astley, the defenseman, rattles it in. And Hartman can't slow it down. Loveson is there. A little chip coming through to Batcha. Batcha trying to get it away from Parks, and that didn't work. Another whistle on the play as Palfi tried to break quickly. The Slovaks with Verhalik into the neutral zone. Hasak brings it down on the right side, taken out by Loveson. Wawrenka on the far side, having problems with Konsak. Back to the blue, the Slovaks keep it in. Konsak tries to move it along with his hand. Wawrenka dumps Konsak. Hasak moves in to pick it up. Hasak now for the Slovaks being shadowed by Savage. Into the near side and the Canadians under a lot of pressure here. Hasak right out front. Dano was there. Kolnick rather was there and couldn't pop it between the pipes. Way back at the blue. Sakarish fanned on his clearance and that goes the distance. Two to one the score. Barholic. The Slovaks, the team in the lead, throws it up into neutral ice territory. The Canadians, long shot on the blue line, missing that target. Hartman went down, didn't have to make the save. Little tap through, here comes Meyer, the big defenseman, brings it up, bangs it off the boards. Norris behind the net, working with Savage. Norris is dumped. Play continues, Varholic goes in. Eventually, the official calls hooking. Slovakians have taken the lead through Spella on their last power play opportunity. Five thirty-three. The time of the power play. The Canadians with Parks moving in. Satin now takes over from Petrovici. Back to the blue. The Canadians with a chance to shoot. Hartman is there. Park swiping at it. And Smerchak didn't like that. Good save to a crowd by Hartman. Canadians winning the faceoff. Park is an excellent faceoff actor. Really wins a lot of the draws. After he wins the faceoff, he goes right to the goal trying to get something on the rebound. Again, Petrovici gets it back. The Canadians stop it at the blue line. Little tap over to Astley. Astley right in front. Hartman, the rebound comes out. Johnson over. Big shot. Hartman goes down. Smerchak bangs it off the boards and clears it out of the zone. Hartman coming up big on a couple of occasions in this power play effort by the Canadians. Back on the attack. Canada working in the corner with Schreiber. Svella stays on him. And some good pushing and shoving from the Canadians, or from the Slovaks rally. This could be dangerous, good stuff. Dano was waiting out front, Johnson back on the attack. Hirsch went out and bubbled that down, raw in the corner. Both goaltenders playing some fine hockey here in the second period. Dano lifts it high and out of the zone with one minute now on the power play. Canadians aren't doing a bad job of setting it up the last time, maybe not so well, but they've got to be careful. The Slovaks are so quick to break. Korea, who's also quick to break, gets it right in front. That didn't work, and here come the Slovaks. Two Canadians getting back. And no room to move there as Warenka picks it up. 38 seconds on the power play. Warenka can move. He's got the big shot. 
Runs into trouble, but Korea is there. Korea off the backboards. Looking for the return pass, and he gets it. Korea drives it off the boards, and the Slovaks anticipate that and shoot it down the ice. Hirsch, a long clearance forward, and that's an icing call. deep into Canadian territory. 2-1 to one to score. The Slovaks leading this one. 7-14. Gone on the second period. Mayer from the draw. Nedved got it back. Mayer. Little tip up on the right wing. The return pass comes and the Canadians have problems getting through the Slovaks who seem to be stacking that blue line. The clearance zone goes as far as the blue. Korea goes in quickly. And the Slovaks are back at full strength. Kontos tapped it in the corner. And Hasak shoots it out. A chance now for 22 Konsek. Konsek hit hard and Warenka picks it up for Canada. Kontos moves one way. That bounced off a skate or off a shin pad rather. Hasak picks it up. Both teams are going to be have, going to have to be careful with those passes close in. Big chop there by Dano. Konsak moves in and the Canadians just flip it high. That goes the distance. Icing is the call. Konsak, Hasek, and Kolnick putting it together in the Canadian zone. The Canadians happy to take the icing call. Hasek goes off the ice. Incredible atmosphere in this place. The Norwegian locals, as well as everyone else in the village, really has supported this sport in the 94 Olympics. So well attended. Pass right up the middle. Savage is double teamed at the blue. Stella really got a piece of him. Janos picks it up with Schreiber there. Canada with a chance to shoot. Norris got a piece of it again. Schreiber waiting for it out front. It didn't work. Petrovicki trying to poke it through, and he's leveled. Big hit by the Canadian defenseman. Petrovicki working on Schlegel. Petrovicki leaning back a little bit. Schlegel giving him a shove. It looked a lot worse than it actually was. But Petrovicki really went down hard, flat on his back. Schlegel. Wondering how he could possibly be that strong. He just caught the guy off balance. Roughing is the call by the Finnish referee. More problems for the Canadians. Five for 20 on the power plate. And the penalty killing has gone from 90% down to 86 for the Canadians. Two to one to score. 8.32, that comes back to the blue to Bacha. Bacha tips it over. Janos. Janos playing a little cat and mouse out there. Gives it to Bacha who throws it to the top of the circle. Savage stays on his man. Bacha, Svela. And the rebound goes all the way down into Slovak territory with Bacha trying to get it through to Svela and he does. One and a half minutes now on the power play. Svela moving right up in front. Petrovicki circles back. The Slovaks with the slow, deliberate buildup. Janos, another pass back to Janos. Janos looks into the corner, puts it right in front. Svela was there along with Satin, and the Canadians get it out of the zone and break quickly. Johnson breaking right in front. Johnson takes a swipe at it, and Hartman went down, and that went into the corner. 105 on the power play. Bacha moves into the far corner, and he'll start it up for the Slovaks. Well, he got as far as the blue. Joseph. A great job of forechecking, chasing Svela back. Bacha to Svela. Svela on the right wing to Janos, who's been out there a long time. 
Sutton taken heavily into the board. Petrovicki back. Hirsch makes a save. Astley can't get a swipe out of them. The Canadians finally clear the zone. Slovak magnetized to the puck. Bacha getting himself in there quickly from the blue line as well to try and help the forwards out. The Canadians escape danger. 20 seconds now on the power play. Big pass up the middle. Canada going back on the D with Meyer taking a swipe at that. And Hirsch elects to collect. Astley and Stasny have words. Get close enough to embrace, but that's as far as it goes. Karich now out on the ice. Stasny has his line out there. Slovak still with time on the power play. Scored the last time out through Svela. Svela and Bacha getting a lot of ice time. Penalty killing, power plays, 5-on-5 five five situation. These two guys are good size, but they log a lot of ice. The Canadians have not won a gold medal in 42 years. 52 was a big year for them. Silver a couple of years ago in Maribel, France, but uh, the elusive gold last came in 1952 and the Slovaks well I think it's fair to say they haven't won a gold because they haven't been around this is their first opportunity in the Olympics coming up quickly is Palfi Palfi now good move hits the blue big shot off the plexi took a slight deflection five on five out there Palfi gets it back Stasny gets it back a little tip through Dano takes a swipe that's gloved down by Warenka he's lost it in his paraphernalia and it comes all the way back to Marchenko close in big shot Palfi, Dano and Stasny really showing some class out there a shot going into a rank while he was already on his knees he was happy on that one to come out of it with, with it hitting a pad I thought you had to be stupid to be a goaltender big hit there by Mayer oh Palfi is stunned he has very good reason to be. He took a shot from number four coming into the play quickly. Derek Mayer, good hit, good clean hit. Nothing wrong with that. Palfi caught with his head down for a second. Just over the center red line. Ouch. Good shot by Mayer. in need of attention on the bench perhaps the elbow was just a little high I guess on the replay it did look like the elbow was in there Paul I'm not going to argue with that one Medved gets it back and the Canadians escape with a dirty look from the official Medved has Astley there Hasak good forechecking from him Contos goes in Hasak steals the puck gets it back shot comes in goaltender out and Hirsch is there Nedved finally comes in, but what about this man, Otto Hasek? Working so hard in the corner to set that one up. Corey Hirsch coming up big. Shot coming from Barhalik right to the side of the goal. The Slovaks are open again momentarily. The Canadians seem to keep forgetting about that one or two white shirts that are just hiding behind them from time to time. against Savage. Savage taps it back to Mayer. Savage a little push again and third top touch and that lands for the Slovaks and the Canadians now come the other way. Mayer pushes it along the boards. Long pass to the far side to Savage. Savage with a bobbling puck can't control it. Barholic got it out nicely. 12 minutes gone on the period. Hasak, a bad pass from him, right up the middle, and that didn't work for Hollick, got in there to intercept the pass, and that could have been dangerous. Norris now, Savage, has that go between the skates and the Canadians, muscle in there with Savage against the Karras, where Hollick gets it back and only get it back to the blue line. Shot comes in, it's going to be a penalty on the play. The Slovaks touch it. Wu, cross-checking the call. Four players on the ice asking who, me, who, me, while the referee clearly indicating it's Barholic that he wants. Cross-checking the call. 
12-21 gone in the second period. The Slovaks on top by a goal. The Canadians go to the power play. Puck kept in at the blue line. The shot is tipped. It goes over the net, but body for body around the goal. The sticks are flying, and the cross-checking call is on Barholic. Slovaks are doing well on the penalty kill. And the Canadians look to improve on their power play statistics. Vela and Korea have a sword fight on the wing. And the Finnish referee comes over to have words. Kontos gets it back nicely. Well, Rinka has time to shoot from the high slot. Goes into the circle. And that was always going to be seen. Smerchak could read that one a mile ago. Excellent defensive move. The Canadians with Contos to Nedved. Nedved with a burst of speed. Gets around Svella. Right in front of Tetsu. Korea is there. The net is knocked off. It's Moorings. Smurchak again getting back into the play. Doing an excellent job defensively. The Canadians were on a roll momentarily. But the net coming off might have saved the Slovakians on this play. Svella is beaten by Nedved around the outside. Smurchak goes in, accidental or not, he does the right thing. It looks like he's gotten away with it. That can be a penalty if in the ref's eyes it's done deliberately. There's the arm coming out. Smurchak makes sure that the Canadians aren't going to get another shot off as Korea is cruising around the front of the goal. Stasny giving instructions out there. He's saying it, done it. The Canadians get it back. Canada with a golden opportunity here. Nedved. Back to Johnson. Johnson, good pass over to the far side. Canada now with Contos out front. Contos can't reach forward, and that's going to be cleared away by Stasny. Stasny intelligently hangs onto it and taps it in the corner and goes after Varenka to tie him up. He knows that he's killing off valuable seconds. Korea, Nedved. Nedved with a burst of speed. He's poke check right at the blue, and Korea has to double back. Varenka flips it over onto the wing. Contos. Flipped it right into the middle. That's kept in by Contos. A chance. Big shot comes in. Hartman goes down. Korea fell in the corner and couldn't pick up the puck. A bobbling puck there is picked up by Marchinko. Gloved down and then shot down the ice with 52 seconds on the power play. Barholic looks on anxiously from the penalty box. The Canadians move up. Warenka unable to penetrate the red. Big shot. Waugh got a piece of that, but so did Hartman. Good shot from Wall Hartman again, keeping the Slovakians right in it. 30 seconds now on the power play. Warenka hits the red, comes up to the blue. Canadians well and truly offside. Warenka slams on the brakes and goes the other way. Warenka feeds it through. 18 seconds now. The Canadians setting up. Sakaris goes one way. Two Canadians on the far side. Svella stole it from them. A chance now. Big hit from behind. Waugh taken out almost in the corner. The Canadians with a power play coming up again. Big shot comes in. Hasak takes a swipe at that. And another penalty coming for charging to the Slovaks. Slovakians thinking they were going to get out of trouble. And right back in it's Vela going to the box. Vela chasing behind the net. The hit from behind. Schreiber down. The penalty is called. The Canadians with a good opportunity. They got the man advantage situation. Charging is the call. Two seconds remaining on Verhollich's penalty. Face off just inside the Slovak zone. You can hear the Canadians down on the ice. Two seconds, two seconds on that one. They're not going to worry too much about that one. They want to set it up for the next one. Stasny at the face off against Savage. Stasny's been out there for a long time. Savage takes Stasny out. Johnson brings it in quickly. This guy can motor. A little top behind the net. They've got Korea out front. The Canadians again setting it up. Shot. Deflected away. Korea's got a wide open net on this side and it just doesn't come. Hartman gets the big glove on it. The Canadians are working hard. They just need a break. Everything is happening, happening for them except getting something by Hartman in this second period. Korea was camped out by the side of the goal. Johnson trying desperately to get it through to him but a couple too many sticks and skates in between them. 
Savage again against Stasny. Savage moves in against Bacha. The Canadians come up with it. Korea drops it back. A lot of high sticks behind that net, all the way back to the blue line. Canada now on the attack, right out to Meyer. Meyer flips the far side, big shot in there. That took a deflection. Another good move. Meyer moves in, and a high deflection up on the mesh. And we'll have another face-off, face and Korea goes to the official and says, hey, what about those high sticks? Letting the official know that he doesn't care if Peter Stastny is twice his age. He doesn't want the stick up around his neck. An accidental collision, but Stastny, quite a bit taller than Paul Korea. Gloves and stick were up high. Korea having a quick word with the official. Face-off still in Slovak territory. All the way back inside the blue. The Canadians not getting the shot away. Now they do. Hartman is there. And Stasny still out on the ice. He really has had a long spell for the Slovaks. Lastly, staying out for the point duty on the power play. Very good, quick defenseman with a lot of offensive ability. Gets a, has a great shot. Stella still in the penalty box for the Slovaks. 1.15 the time remaining on his penalty. Hasak goes up against Nedved. A long time for this face-off to get underway, and it's going to take even longer. Pontos moves in. All the way back to Warenka. Warenka to Korea. Korea back to Warenka. Warenka playing right on the blue, gets it in to Paul Korea. Korea moves back now. He's got a chance to pass it over. Nedved is there. Kontos now. Sakaris takes him out of the play. The Slovaks double teaming back there. Korea trying to keep it away, and he does. Sakaris moving in quickly. Nedved is there. Can't get the shot away. And that bobbles nicely for the Slovaks, and it's shot all the way down the ice. First it was Dasny. Now it's Hasak on the penalty kill, really forcing the Canadians. They've got to be quick. They're working the give and goes, but the Slovaks are all over them. Long pass to Korea. Warenka setting him up. Big chop by Marchenko, gets it out of the zone and down the ice. 27 seconds remaining on the power plate. The Canadians will have to go after Kolnick. Little tip up on the wing now as Waugh comes up. Waugh gets away from Palfi. Waugh gets the wheels turning. Eventually loses control of that, bounces it off the backboards. The Canadians now with five seconds on the power play. Throwing the puck around nicely. Johnson, along with four boards, moves into the corner. Wall goes in to help him. Spella steps on the ice for the Slovaks. And Stasny taps the boards and says, well done. Wall well, not happy with the way Bacha took him from behind. Two to one the score here. Czech Republic coach having a good watch. We keep mentioning various coaches in the crowd. Tikhanov is here. Lundstrom is here, or Lindmark rather. Tim Taylor is here. We just had a quick look at Linka, the Czech Republic coach. 16-24 gone on the period. Another face-off in slow, the Slovak zone. Petrovicki tries to get it back, and that eventually bounces nicely for the Slovaks. And they'll start it up. Smerchak. Marchenko. His pass is intercepted. A break now. Coming in quickly. On the back outside. Mushko. Got a piece of it. Parks moves in. And Parks takes a hit from Petrovicki. And they move in along the plexi. What's fair is fair. You hit me. Somebody's going to hit you. Parks getting involved. That was just good complimentary action from both teams. The goaltender was down, one player's hit, another one gets hit. It's just the way that's going to be around the front of any team's goal. But again, 
nothing too serious. So you hate to sit here and criticize officials because they've got a tough job to do, but uh, okay, they got hit from behind. It wasn't that serious. I've seen worse in women's hockey. Petrovicki goes in. Let's take a look at this again. Lushko steaming down in there against Vela. Takes the shot. The save is there. He goes for the poke. Just another day at the office. To quickly summarize, Parks in the box for taking Smirchak after the play. Petrovici in the box for taking Parks after he had hit Smirchak. That makes sense to you. Both teams are in the box for two minutes. Coming up now, Janos. Janos moves in front. Shot just wide of the far post. Satin goes after it. Janos is dropped down by Astley, and the Canadians bring it up quickly. Canada on the attack, hitting the red line. Looking to get something going. Norris, a backhander off the side, and Smirchak moved in and knocked the net. Savage took a hit from behind, well and truly after the whistle. Now the European referee saying, let's just calm down. He's not going to issue another penalty. But he wants everybody to realize that he's watching things closely. Smirchak again taken out of the play. Savage not happy. Smirchak turns around and gives him a shot. That was six of one, half a dozen of the other. They both hit each other once. Savage feeling like a new man in this game. He's out there without the full face mask on. He's had a facial injury, sporting a pretty nice black eye for the first few days of the Olympic Games. But now out there without the face mask. Less than three minutes on the period. Still two to one the score in this one. And still 20 minutes of hockey to come after this period. A live contest here on Eurosport. 128 remaining on the coincidental penalties. Parks and Petrovicki in the box. Johnson gets it back. Canada still looming. Still looking for that tying goal. They really have dominated this period. Most of the play has been down here, but they seem to be unable to get it by Hartman. Bacha drops it back. Stasny, a little drop pass is nice from him. Dano throws it into neutralized territory. And Bacha whips it right back into his own zone. The Slovaks throwing the puck around with a little style, a lot of ease. Marchinko to Bacha. Bacha, the big defenseman, hits the red, taps it up on the wing. Giveaway there, not a great pass, and Lubson directs it this way. The final two minutes of hockey, the Canadians with Warenka. Warenka has Waugh right behind him. Warenka looking for someone to pass to. Waugh calls for it and gets it. The Canadians right out front to Sean Hartman made the save on Meyer. Some good stuff from the Canadians, but here come the Slovaks. Again. A defenseman gets up and gets forward, and this time Meyer gets back to take Bacha out of the play. Two-line pass on the play as Waugh is over the center red line, receiving that pass, but that was a great indication of just how quick Derek Meyer is for a defenseman. He got the shot away for the Canadians. It was an excellent save made by Hartman as Bacha tore off down the ice, thinking he's got a chance for himself. Meyer gets back and takes him right out of the play. This is how it was set up. Meyer in the slot, Bacha next to him, the puck going forward as the play continued, the race was on, Bacha, big tall guy with long legs, thinks he might have a chance for himself, he was quickly splattered on the ice as Meyer got back to get him out of the play. Hasak in the face-off circle for the Slovaks, and that's won by the Canadians. Astley. Little tip up to the blue, and Korea has Nedved and Kontos. Korea, one good move, couldn't come up with a second one. Kontak came back in a hurry to pick off the puck. Two seconds on the penalties. Both teams now back at full strength. Kontak, long shot off the plexi, and that bobbles. Mayer has to get back in a hurry to pick it up. Sakaris along the boards, gets it away from Parks. Hasak in there. Hasak up against Asli. Astley puts in the grab and takes Hasak along the boards. A lot of pushing. One minute remaining on the period. Astley, three Slovaks in there. Petrovicki now. Petrovicki hammered head first in by Meyer. And the whistle finally blows and we'll have a face-off. This guy Meyer is tough. 
anybody questioning why the referee is trying to keep control of this game, it better have a good close look, especially in the last eight or ten minutes of the second period. The two teams are really having a good chop at each other away from the play. There's a lot of hacking and hacking going on. As you can see, the crowd in Hacken Hall really getting into the swing of things here. In the final 50 seconds of this period, 2-1 to one the score. Slovaks clinging to that one-goal lead. Petrovicki steps in for the Slovaks in the face-off circle. Savage, or Johnson rather, is there right through the middle. Hirsch didn't have that come his way. Warenka is there. Warenka goes back to take the puck with him. He knows he's got just a few seconds on the clock. He doesn't want to give anything away in his own zone. The pass up the middle, that's all the way down. Johnson goes in, and Hartman goes down. Forward doing the complimentary thing, stopping and throwing the snow all over the goaltender. Goaltenders hate that. They really do. If they have a full face mask with uh, plexi on it and they have to wipe that off in the old days now they have little bits hanging from their crossbars and it gets in their eyes and their teeth Well, I heard your trick was to put windshield wipers on your contact lenses because you weren't wearing a mask in those days and it shows coming up in a moment between the periods, the two-man Bob, the first four of the second round. So stay with us. The 24-hour Olympic channel here, Eurosport. When others may give you 30-second highlights of ice hockey games, we're giving you the whole thing, and we're giving it to you live whenever possible. Coming up quickly, Janos taking off the puck at the last moment. He gets it in. First takes a little poke at it. Satin looking for the given goal, but Satin is held off by Schreiber, who's puck in the corner. Ten seconds now on the period. The Slovaks unable to get that puck out front. The Canadians try to keep it moving to kill this one down. Two seconds, and the buzzer goes. First comes out and goes to the dressing room, as do the rest of the players. An excellent, excellent period from both teams. This only team to score were the Slovaks. Svela getting that power play goal at 327. That makes it 2-1 to one over the Canadians, but still 20 minutes of hockey to come. The two-band Bob is coming up in a moment. That's the first four of the second round. Stay with us. A lot more hockey to come, too. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back to the third and final period of this hockey game between Canada and Slovakia. Two to one the score, the Slovaks are leading the Canadians. And this is all about positioning in the tables. The top, as we've said so many times before, the top in the group, the final four that is, will play against the bottom of the final four of the other group. There are two groups of six teams each. 12 teams started out in this competition and it's all about getting in the final four of your group. And then if you're the top one in that group, you play against the bottom one in the other group of four. The Canadians now coming out on the ice. The Slovaks really have played some excellent hockey, some intelligent hockey. The Canadians seem to have the pressure on for most of the latter stages in the period. Every time I said there was a face-off, it seemed to be deep in Slovak territory, but nevertheless, they kept their cool. They played some good defensive hockey. They roughed it up when they had to. And they're leading this one by one. Discipline is the name of the game. Both coaches will have drilled that into the players between the second and third period. The European referees are playing things tight. Both teams need to stay out of the box. It's a power play goal. It is the difference right now. Svela's goal with a man advantage in the second period. Having the Slovaks in front, the first period shots favoring the Slovaks 10-4. But in the second period, the Canadians outshot the Slovakians 12-8. So it is very close. Both teams have a great shot of get, holding on to that second spot in their division. The Slovaks, with a win, will have a point up on the Canadians. It's all go in this final 20 minutes.
later on today, the Italians take on the French. And our big game on Eurosport late this evening will be USA against Sweden. Be sure to join us for that one. Stasny goes down. The Canadians pick up the puck in their own zone. Schlegel on this side calls for it. Schlegel moves over to the other side, and the pass up on to the wing goes the distance. And icing is the call. Nobody really knew what to expect when the Slovaks came into the competition. Okay, they, they uh, won the tournament, the pre-Olympic tournament in Sheffield, but uh, the opposition wasn't up to much except for the Latvians. So they really didn't know how this team would fare against the likes of Canada, Sweden, Finland, whatever. But uh, they're doing okay. The Slovaks tied the Swedes in their first game, tied the Americans, and then hammered the Italians. So uh, they have proved themselves at this level. Schlegel up onto the wing. The return pass goes back on the D. Schlegel is there. Astley on this side. Canada now starting it out. They trail by one here in the third period. The Canadians with Nedved tipping it forward, trying to get it to Contos. That bounced away, and Korea's back along with Astley. Astley, weak wide pass to Slagel. The pressure coming from Palfi. Slagel on the red line. Drop pass to Brad Slagel. And you can see the pressure from the Slovaks. Palfi in particular doing a great job of getting in there first. There's always a second man not far behind. Korea drops it back. Big shot going upstairs. Korea behind the net. Nedved got a piece of that and let it rip. Palfi now. Good pass up to Stasny. Dano rather got it. Stasny now. Dano trying to get it going. Nedved got in the way. Nedved breaking. Nedved on the backhand side. The forehand side. Batcha picks it up. Some good stuff by the Slovaks. Batcha's got room to move. Passes it up on the left wing. And that goes into the corner. Lovson has to go back for it. Lovson for Canada. Hits his own blue. Comes up to the red and just fires it in as both teams try to get fresh legs out there. Shakaris takes Norris out of the play. Savage moves in. Schreiber is there along the boards. Shakaris back behind his own net for Hollick. Gives that away to Norris. Norris has got the good shot. He's also got the wheels if he can get them moving. Savage in there now. Got the instructions from Norris. Pass it back. Norris has got chance. Schreiber's out front. He goes all the way back to the blue. The fake shot is a good one. Working in is Loveson. There's a power play coming up for the Canadians. Right to the side of the net. Savage is dropped by Shakaris. And the Slovaks have a holding penalty. Referee getting involved again. The play is close. It's tight in front of the net. Nobody wanting to give an inch. Slovakians tying their men up. The official making his way to the box, signaling the holding call. Shakarish goes over to set the penalty out. This is an important power play opportunity for Canada. Lovson faking the shot earlier. A nice fake by him. He walks around Hasak, who's down on the ice. Lovson, as he continues on, Savage is being held in front of the goal by Sikarish. The penalty finally was called. And the Slovakians are shorthanded. 2-11 the time of that penalty here in the third period. Power play for Canada. Parks. Parks gets it over onto the wing. Schreiber along the board. Schreiber back to the blue. The Canadians now set it up. Big hit there by Svella. Another one comes back to the blue. Meyer right at the blue line. Meyer takes a shot. That took a deflection from the side of the net. Schreiber again back to Meyer. Meyer tried to flip it over to this side. And that didn't work for the Canadians. Meyer's got a good shot. He might want to consider using it instead of trying to feather the perfect pass through. The Canadians have got guys tying things up in front of the goal. Along the boards, Parks got on that one. Wow. A little tip into the corner. Canada again set it up. A little push on Schreiber. Johnson calls for it. Johnson can't get posi into position to take the shot, and he just floats it behind the goal. Parks is dumped. Petrovici picks it up and throws it down the ice. A chance going in on goal. And Satin is there. Satin ends up in the goal along with 
Corey Hirsch. And you can see how quickly these Slovaks can break. They're short-handed, yet they go for it. Miroslav Satin, the 20-year-old kid who the Edmonton Oilers are seeking contract signature from, goes in on the goal. You can see how quick this guy is. The Canadian's trying to get back. Corey Hirsch doing a good job of just holding his ground. Satin, an excellent playmaker. Really has gotten a name for himself in these Olympics. Stasny from the faceoff can't get it back. Less than a minute now on the power play. Zakaris still in there for holding the stick. Canada coming out of their own zone. And they're going to have trouble with passes like that. Palfi rattles that off the woodwork. Nedved is there to slow it down and bring it out. Nedved. Astley, Lorenka. You can see the two Slovaks coming up and really not showing any respect for this power play at all. Tapped into the corner. Canada now looking to get something going with Korea. Back to Astley, a little tip right in front. Kontos was there. Back to the D again with the Canadians. Astley letting the shot go and that's deflected away. Palfi is on a break now. Palfi goes in. And Hirsch goes down. Palfi was getting hooked from behind. And the Canadians break up quickly. Back on the attack. Korea can't get the puck. The passes are just not connecting here in the third period for the Canadians. The Slovaks are back at full strength with Shakaris stepping back on the ice. You can see how quick Zygmunt Palfi really is. Mark Astley is not a very slow defenseman. He's got good quick legs. He was a little off balance after he didn't get much on the puck. Palfi walked right away from Astley. He's off and running. Lorenka, who's also got good legs, just gets a piece of him. But once again, Hirsch holds his ground. Hasak steps into the face-off circle. Savage for Canada. They're going to do that again. Norris waiting on the wings. That doesn't come his way. He goes over to Savage. Savage now starts it up on the left side. Canada looking for that tying goal. Hartman bangs it off the backboards. Konsek is there for the Slovaks. Konsek. Good move with the blue. Two good moves to get round Savage and Joseph. A little high flip into the corner. And then Canada get back in a hurry to try to get it out. Hasak in the corner. Savage takes him out of the play. Konsek is there. Coming in quickly is Kolnick. This is a good line for the Slovaks. Hasak giving Joseph a hard time. Joseph eventually gets it up. And the pass from the Canadians is not a good one. Seems to be falling down in the neutral zone with those Rink wide passes. Canada. Schlegel tipping it up. Joseph puts it on the right wing. Savage hangs on too long and Smirchak takes it off his stick. Mayer has to go back and bring it forward. Mayer lets the shot go and that hit a stick, hit a body. Svella goes into the corner. Norris is trying to get a change of lines out there. Astley. Astley goes the other way. Mayer calls for it on the near side. Mayer starts it up on the right side. Canada again with a rink wide pass. This time it works, but the play at the blue line didn't work for them. Five white shirts stacked up across the blue line. The Canadians coming in with three men strong, but just off sides on the play. The Canadians still unable to take advantage of the power play situation. The Slovaks, to their credit, killing off another penalty nicely. The Slovak team can certainly play with the best in the world. It's now been proven. Tip over to the far side. And the Canadians now Korea. Korea, good move. Janos is hooking his man. Lusko goes in and tips that. That bounces out nicely. 
And the Slovaks touch it, and we have a whistle on the plate. Two to one, still the score with the Slovaks hanging on to that lead. And uh, take a look at Mita Bukac, the coach of the Germans. As we said, everyone is here. They want to look at this Canadian team, and they want to look at this Slovak team. Tikhanov is actually smiling. If you can take this at home, do so. Rare footage, perhaps, for the future. And smiling Victor Tikhanov. Oh, if Tikhanov takes part in the wave, I'll carry your luggage home for you. <laughs> The other day, the King of Norway almost took part in the wave. His little hands went up as everybody came around. He didn't stand up, of course. Icing is the call. And the face-off will go down the ice. A breather for both teams. A chance to look at the... Main man for the Slovak team, Peter Stasny, playing without his brother Anton, who's been suspended. So he seems to be carrying the weight very well indeed. Bacha. Bacha drops it back for Stasny. Stasny breaks up on the right side. Good move by Stasny as he slams on the brakes, gets it over to Palfi. Palfi takes it in the corner. Lovson tries to tie his man up, and he does. The Canadian's going in quickly. Dano is there. Stasny is there. Palfi now moves out of the picture and gets the pass. Palfi, a good pass all the way back to Bacha. Shot in. Hirsch is there. Warenka gets the rebound. Stasny goes in with a chopper. Warenka keeps going. A little tap up in a neutralized territory. Canada on the fly. Good pass over. Shot comes in. Wall was there. Hartman getting back in a hurry, getting a piece of Waugh's shot. The Canadians with a great two-on-one. A chance from the side of the net, and Johnson is stopped in his tracks. That was good stuff from the Canadians at the other end of the rink. Stasny and Palfi were performing, and then all of a sudden the Canadians break, and Waugh almost banged it into the back of the net to level the score. Big shot from Bacha trickles into the corner. Mayer senses some urgency out there. And gets it up quickly on the wing, but there's no one there to pick it up. Bacha is deep for Slovakia. Bacha goes around the right side, pops it up on the wing. Hasak almost taken out of the play. Somehow he got it up, working right in front of his contact. That tipped up high. Satin was there. Hasak leaving that. Varholik goes in, takes a shot, and Hirsch goes down to smother it at the top of the crease. Good spell from Slovakia. Both teams starting to really open it up. The offensive chances are coming from both of these sides. Opportunity for the Canadians earlier. The shot from Waugh is saved nicely by Hartman. Seven fifty-two gone on the period. Still two to one the score. This one is live on Eurosport. We hope you're enjoying it. We certainly are. Bouncing puck to the far side. Joseph gets behind the net, and the Canadians now over their own red line. Tap it up to the blue line. Here comes Canada. Parks backhands it in the corner. Konsek goes in quickly. He takes a hit from Warenka, the big defenseman, who finds himself up there. Joseph wants it. Joseph will reach for that. That goes between the skates, and Hasak gives it out to Shakaris. For a moment, Chakaris lost it. Hasak tapped it up. Konsak now slows it down. Konsak, good pass back. Shot comes in right the side of the net. Kolnick really did let that one fly. Varholik. Hasak. And the Slovaks really showing the Canadians now how to throw the puck around. Kolnick. Konsak. Chakaris. Big pass up on the left wing, and Janos winds up, takes a shot, and that was deflected away. Svela tries to drive it right back in. That bounces for Satin, but the whistle had gone. Good shift once again for all of Hasak's line. Kolnick and Konsak, two wingers that just don't stop skating, providing a lot of action for the supporters here in attendance. The Canadians really up against it for about a minute and a half. It was a long shift by Hasek's line as well. 
one or two people thought when this competition started that okay maybe the Slovaks would have one line in Stasny but then you get Hasak out there and he's really playing strong they've got a third line that's doing well the fourth line hasn't seen any action yet but they're not bad hockey players they're young and when the time comes they'll get their moment but they really do have three solid lines the defense no doubt there these guys are true defensemen at this level Lovson being shadowed by Petrovicki. Petrovicki puts the hook on and they steal the puck right in front. Yellow's got the touch and Hirsch was there with the pad save. The Canadians now quickly back up on the wing. The backhander Korea couldn't get it out front. They're starting to shut down Korea. He's not getting the space he got in the early stages of this game. Korea picks it up. Looking for places to go. His shot headed for the near post. Misses the net. Warenka taps it in. Canada unable to bring that one down. Korea goes for a skate, throws it along the boards. Mayer is taken out of the plate. Smirchak got it up. Smirchak still with Smirchak. Big hook. That's got to be a penalty. You called that one ahead of the referee, Paul, and it's a good call. Tom Rennie looking on as he sees Paul Korea going to the penalty box. Smirchak, the big defenseman, showing that he's got a little bit of offensive ability, walking around the outside. Korea not accustomed to having to play defenseman for the Canadians. Put the hook on him, and the Canadians are going to be shorthanded at 9.50 of this third and final period. So the Canadian Wonder Boys sits and face off with Stasny. Goes deep in Canadian territory, 5 for 20. On the power play, Canada, as far as the blue, Bacha, Bacha working with Marchenko. Palfi looks for a little run and gone, oh, 29, Dano was right there and he just couldn't get the lumber on it, Dano goes in the corner, Harlock is on him, Stasny picks it up, Stasny from off beside the net, throws it behind the net, Palfi goes for a skate, Dano is positioned again on the post, Bacha, Gets it in to Palfi. Palfi with a lot of time. Takes the first shot. Gives it to Stasny. 122 on the power play. Bacha. Big shot. Hirsch says, I've got that. And the Canadians with Norris take their time. Schreiber rather takes his time and gets it down the ice. Bacha picks it up for the Slovaks and starts it up slowly. Pass up in the neutral ice territory is a good one. The Slovaks gunning for Dano. Dano didn't really see that coming, and here comes the Canadian team. Lushko drops it back. Perhaps he would have been better to shoot that puck. Dano now on the left side, followed by Palfi. Palfi off the boards. Stasny was going the wrong way, and Marchinko went in to pick up the puck, and boy, he skated right by it. And the Canadian Lushko, who was going to ice the puck. 33 seconds on the power play. Shakaris. A pass up on the wing. Hasak along the blue line. Konsek back to Hasak. Ashley stays with him. Good stuff from him. Joseph now for Canada. Off the boards. Gloved down right at the blue by Vorholik. And that comes out over the blue. And it's that man Hasak again. Hasak, his pass is not a good one. Lorenka rallies it off the blue. It doesn't get out of the zone. Joseph goes in on Hasak. The Canadians are back at full strength, but the puck is still in the zone. Coming up to the 12-minute mark. A long pass, almost back to the blue line. Canada putting on the grab there. Norris doing a great little job on the wing of back checking. Korea shoots it out. He's back on the ice. The Canadians at full strength. Lorenka for Canada. 2-1 to the score, still in the third period. Canada struggling to get back on the score sheet here, and offside. How many times have we said that? At least three in this period where the Canadians get a little motion, get a little movement, and they get stuck at that blue line. Canadians kill off the penalty. The Slovaks will go for a quick rest, changing all five players on the ice. Less than eight minutes in hockey left to play here. Slovakians with a one-goal lead. Still far from over. This is a good game, a fast game. We can probably expect more of the same tonight when you see USA against Sweden on Eurosport. Stay tuned for that one. 
Mayer to the far side. Little tip up to Nedved. Nedved puts it on the right side. Korea. Korea being pushed out of the play by Janos. That comes right out front. And Nedved just couldn't get the shot away. Janos picks it up for the Slovaks. Nice pass up on the wing to Petrovicki. Petrovicki circles, waits for a little support. And his pass bounces over Svela. Bounces over Svela's stick, rather. And the pass up to Janos. Janos eventually slows it down. The ice a bit choppy out there. Nedved. Bad pass. Intercepted nicely. And Marchenko, Smirchak rather, goes in the corner. Petrovici goes in too. Meyer is there. A bouncing puck in the circle. Harlock couldn't handle it. The Canadians happy just to shoot it out of the zone. And here comes Canada. Two players hitting the red. Oh, Nedved went right in and missed the net. It looked so casual. It looked like they weren't really trying anything at all. Big shot by Korea and Hartman went down. Bacha pass up on the wing. Another long shot this time. Dano lets it fly. Stasny's out there with Palfi and the Canadians try to break out of the zone. Dano. Bacha. Quickly over that red and quickly into the Canadian zone. Astley takes a swipe at it and the Canadians start it up. Hitting the red line, Canada now try to get things going with Johnson. Johnson has nowhere to go, but in the corner, Palfi got back in a hurry, started throwing his weight around. That's deflected high, but not out of the zone. Canada putting it in the corner. Some good pressure there from Archenko. Popped into the near side. Canada, Schreiber being grabbed by Batcha. Schreiber pinned against the woodwork. Batcha is all over him. Schreiber tries to kick it along the boards. The official says no penalty. Batcha brings it out. And the Canadians back at their own blue. Get it into neutralized territory and start it up yet again. Canada not really seriously threatening that goal for a while now as Johnson was caught stranded. Wait offside, Craig Johnson get it, or Greg Johnson rather getting the touch. And both teams will be allowed to change. Waugh going to the bench. Peter Stastny taking his line off the ice. Little woolly bully from the crowd. The Canadians need to just keep getting the shots off. They're starting to put a lot more pressure on Hartman, even taking the long shots, but making Hartman handle the puck. Norris gets it right in front, and the Canadians again unable to score the goal that they need to tie it up. Hasak drops it back. Shot came in there from Konsek. Loveson goes after Hasak and muscles him along the plexi. Some good stuff from the Canadian as he takes Hasak out. Satin is down, Konsek is there. Konsek now is pinned against the woodwork. And the Canadians start to throw the muscle around. Parks hangs on to Kolnick's stick. Norris really has good speed. He beat Shakaris a moment ago. A big hit there by Barholic on Savage. And Savage didn't have the puck. You're looking at me, Paul. It was a good check. You're right, it was a little late. The crowd on their feet yelling for interference. The definition of interference is impeding the progress of the guy who doesn't have the puck. I don't know. For me, that was a, a penalty, but we'll let it go. Because we actually have nothing to say about it. <laughs> and I'm Canadian, so what does it mean anyway? Two to one. The Canadians are still trailing this one. Here in the third and final period. 15-21 gone. Less than five minutes on the period. What a finish this is going to be. What a game it's been. It's been played at one heck of a pace. Petrovicki moves in for the Canadians. Nedved tries to get it back. Janos, the gentle tip. And that bounces over. Korea almost got a stick on it. Now it comes his way. Korea gets it back. Mayer is there for Canada. Over to Harlock. Korea. Korea hits the red and flips it high into the corner. The Canadians rush in, but Janos gets it, gets to it first, drops it off. Petrovicki starts it out of the zone. A little support, perhaps, and then Petrovicki puts it up. Svela, big shot. Misses the net. Janos puts it behind, and Hirsch is in trouble. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Canada with Korea. 
Smerchak going, Korea takes the shot, and Hartman got a piece of it. Smerchak let him take the shot. Korea getting the slap shot off earlier, though. Spella going into the goal. Satin probably should have just taken the shot himself. He looked to make that one extra move and try and hit Spella going into the net. As that pass didn't come off, the Canadians were off and running, and Spella's a defenseman. They don't want him caught in front of the Canadian goal. It's late in the game. You've got less than four minutes to play. Really not the time to take silly chances like that. Big face-off with Stasny getting it back to Marchenko along the boards. Schlegel doing a, some good work to prevent that from going out to the far side. Ashley takes the shot. Oh, loose puck there, and Stasny grabs it. Hartman was down for a moment. Stasny flips it high, and the Canadians go back on the defensive. Schlegel gets away from Palfi. A long pass to the far side of the rink. Canada now right up the middle looking for Schreiber. Two-line pass is the call. The Canadians coming close yet again. There's still a lot of time. Tom Redding just does not show a lot of emotion or say a lot behind the bench. Knows he's a shot away from being level in this game. off just inside the Canadian zone. Again, Stasny stays out there, and again, he wins the draw. Slovaks just fire it all the way in. Hurst drags it down, and Canada with Lubson out front. Terrible passing. I really don't know what the Canadians are doing sometime in that neutral zone. Bacha is dropped down. Bacha gets up and frees it by getting it up on the wing. Dano is held. Stasny looking for Palfi, feeds it right through. Dano was there, but Wawrenka gets the puck, bounces it off the boards, and the Canadians now start it up. Another pass goes astray. Lovson up to the blue line. Canada being shut down by the Slovaks in neutralized territory. Norris getting it through. Oh, and the tip comes from Savage. Norris is there behind the net. Hasak tries to smother it. The Canadians now with Lushko going in late. All the way back to the blue. Meyer has a chance. Puts it right in front. Norris can't get the shot away. Hasak is all over him and steals the puck from him. Puts it up to Palfi. Palfi from a sharp angle. Hangs onto it and goes around the net. Wawrenko stays with him. Wawrenka. A little pass to Meyer. Meyer now knows that the Canadians are running out of time. Coming up to the final two minutes of this hockey game. Astley on the boards and he can't keep it in the zone oh this could be dangerous coming in good check on number 28 Lubomir Kolnick by Hirsch brilliant goaltending from the goalie Korea is dragged down right at the top of the circle whistle on the play and how many times have we said it takes a brave man to call a penalty when the game is close and you're down to the last couple of seconds of a game, boy. Let's watch this first. Great play by Corey Hirsch. He came out of his goal at the right time, put the poke check on and got the puck off Kolnick, who looked like he was going to have a goal for himself. Korea going the other way is hooked up by Kolnick and Sikarish. We got a timeout on the ice. And the Canadians will want to work this one out. Sakaris doesn't want to go to the box. Sakaris still having a word. He's been called for hooking. There are a minute and 45 seconds to play in the game. The Canadians have talked it over. It was Danny Dubé, the assistant coach for Canada, who's made comments to the local press that, you know, at the end of a game in North America, the referee would tend to put his whistle in his back pocket. This is one time that I'm sure Dan Dubé, I'll speak for him, is very happy the referee still had the whistle in his mouth. Well, whether it was a penalty or not doesn't really matter. Sakaris sits for hooking. Two for 22 on the power play, the Canadians. 92.3%. Penalty killing for the Slovaks. Impressive stats from the Slovaks. 
The Canadians with Nedved in the face-off circle. Nedved against Petrovicki from close in. That trickles in front. And Svela bounces it off the board, but can't get it out of the zone. The Canadians pop it right back into the corner. Canada now working hard. They've had their timeout, and that's cleared down the ice. They're going to have to go back in a hurry. The Canadians know that even a draw will push them one point ahead of the Swedes who play later tonight against the USA. So this is important. They want this leveling goal. Astley hits the blue line, gets around Petrovicki, rides that around the boards. Nedved goes in to set it up, and he lets it go into the corner. Going the other way, Svela and Korea. Svela is about twice the size of Korea, but Korea hangs on. Petrovicki backhands it out of the zone, and the Slovak supporters are on their feet cheering in this one. Nedved with one minute on the clock. Two to one the score. The Canadians trailing. Bring it back up with Johnson. Johnson moving in the corner. Right out front. Hirsch comes out front. Loose puck is there. Svela goes in. Smerchak is there. And Hartman comes up with a big save. Hartman again with the puck in his glove. Handing it to the referee. Getting congratulations from his teammates. Canadians going close. Johnson on his off wing. Lays the backhander out. What a pass from Johnson. The shot is there, the rebound is there, the Canadians come up empty-handed though, great pass by Johnson, right through everybody into the slot, Nedved getting the shot away, he can't believe Hartman's made the save on him. For so many years, when it was Czechoslovakia, this guy was overshadowed by Dominic Hasek and Petr Brize, now it's his moment to shine. On the bench, Corey Hirsch, the Canadians have put on an extra attacker. Shakaris is in the box, so they have two extra attackers. All important face-off for both teams. Nedved gets the starting nod, so does Stasny, as you would expect. Stasny has done this a thousand times before, and he just did it one more time. The Canadians throw it in the corner. Korea along the boards. Korea so cool under pressure. Korea to... Astley, Astley takes the wrist shot, Hartman gets the save, Johnson goes after it on the far side, pushes it along the boards, the Canadians with Contos now, Contos again goes in there, Stasny swipes at it, all the way back to the top of the circle, big shot, loose puck out front, all the way back to the blue again, Astley wants it on this side, that takes a bounce, and the Canadians keep it in, Bacha takes a swipe at it, and it goes out over the blue, this is all over, the Slovaks are going to score here, right in front, Demo puts it in the back of the empty net. That's three for Slovakia. Excellent hockey from the Slovakian side here in the Olympics. Whoa, this crowd has gone crazy. What a happy bunch of hockey players on the ice for Slovakia. Their supporters are absolutely going mental in the crowd. You couldn't be happier for a team if you had to be. We're both North American, Paul. The Americans and the Canadians, obviously, are the teams we're cheering for. But your hat's got to be off to this Slovakian team. They have come out of nowhere. First round play, they're surprising everybody. And have they ever fought hard for a victory over this Canadian team, who are one heck of a team and will be around in the medal round? 1949, the time of the goal. Some brilliant stuff from the Slovaks. The goaltender was out, they had Shakaris in the penalty box, and he's still there. And they come up with that shorthanded goal. This one will be one to remember for this Slovakian team. Stasny, who played for Canada during the, Can uh, the Canada Cup, will probably take a special moment to reflect. I'm sure he enjoyed that. Hirsch gets congratulations from his teammates. He played well. He couldn't do anything about that last one. And the other two were great goals as well. Dano and Svela. And Dano again. Korea was the only one to score for Canada. The Swedes play the U.S. later. Temporarily, though, the Slovakians find themselves at the top of Group B. They've got six points now from four games. Two wins and two draws. They're still undefeated in the 94 Olympics. A fine performance from the Slovakians.